Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Cloud Share Terminal to create your Docker for free to play with it. Basically, CloudShare is an online development and operational environment provided by Google Cloud, which you can use to manage your resources in the cloud. And also, you can use it to build and create your cloud applications. Previously, I usually use in play with Docker to create a Docker test environment. I had a couple of video about that. So this is in my Docker playlist. I use the container to install all kinds of uh, web applications, database, to play with it. Some of them are in play with Docker. But now, with Google Cloud Platform, we can use this free cloud share environment to create your own doc for free to play with it. You only need to log in to your Google Cloud Platform using your Google account and uh, click this terminal icon, then it will immediately deploy a cloud share environment. Basically, that's a virtual machine environment for you to use. It has 16 gig of memory. It has a five gig home drive for you to use to store your files between your sessions. So I just click the icon, so we logged in. You can go to your root mode. Just uh, read me file here. There's a five gigabyte home directory for you to use. Unfortunately, the VN is the terminal, and will be reset approximately twenty minutes after your session ends. One thing I like to use this cloud share is it's a Docker ready environment. Uh, this is Debian VM, so we can check the OS release. This is Debian 10, version 10, buster. And the Docker has been pre installed. Docker Compose also installed it as well. So that means you can start immediately start to install your Docker. Um, if you watched my previous video, I had a, a bunch of video to show you how to install Nextcloud, and I have some other videos how to install, for example, this uh, Ubuntu desktop, VNC desktop. So I'm going to quickly to demonstrate how to run those two dockers into CloudShare. First thing I would like to show you the Ubuntu VNC desktop. Um, if you look at that command here, you can directly copy this command. You don't need to make any changes, just directly copy this command and put it into the CloudShare. Uh, Control Shift V to paste it. Here you can copy the command and then Control Shift V to paste in. The speed is stunning, and I think uh, I tested it's around one gig internet speed. Uh, once we got uh, our VNC desktop up, then we can give that testing. So um, probably in ten seconds, then the VM, the Docker gonna be up and running. So it's um it's ready. As you can see, we didn't run it on demo mode, so it the log is still showing on the screen, but uh it it's already here to be ready to use. One thing we need to know the port we have to change it to match it. Right now we are running on sixty eighty this port. Um by default our port, web preview port is 8080. So what we can do is, so if you click 
preview on port 8080, it will not show you nothing because it is nothing only on that port. If we have our VNC environment, we have the desktop running on port 6080, so we can change the port. And we do change in the preview. As you can see, the um, tab title changed to no VNC2. That's the um, our application name. So immediately we log in to this Ubuntu VNC desktop environment using our browser. So we can test it. You can see port 6080 here. It's mapped to the URL. Um, this um, Firefox has been installed. We can directly launch it. I can would like to do a speed test. So we can see how fast the internet speed can go. So that's the IP for your CarShare VM. Um, it, it's 900, oh, more than one, uh, 1200 megabytes, megabps, a 1300 megabps. And the uploading even faster, it's got getting a 1600 megabps. That's the VM we have. So we have a Docker. We're running Firefox in it. This um, VNC desktop. You can remote log in using your browser. So that's one use case. Uh, you can do it, and then you can launch it in ten seconds once you have a GCP account. You just need to copy paste. You don't need to write any code. It, you don't need to have any program experience here. Um, another thing I would like to show you is Nextcloud. We're gonna use in Docker Compose to run this Nextcloud. You can search Nextcloud from Docker Hub. This is an official Docker image stored on a Docker Hub. Um, if you scroll down, you will see the Docker Compose file. So we're gonna use this one to run next cloud in this cloud share virtual machine. So we cannot quit from this one. So we're gonna create a Docker compose file. Gonna paste here, and one thing we need to set up is a password. So we can look at the list. Of two Docker gonna be launched. One is for Nextcloud. One is for database. We are using MariaDB. Um, you need to set up a password. I will do password one two three four. This is just demo. There's a three place you need to change the settings. Here is my SQL password. Here you need to change as well. The display of the text of this file is not correct. Um, but we should be able to get it right. Uh, we can VI to it. That should get you right information here. I change the password, password one, two, three, four, my SQL password, root password, and then in the app, and I using that password. So Docker compose. Um, I lost my connection because of the network connection issue. Let me connect to it. It's gonna give me a new 
VM for your for my culture. So the file I just created is gone. Um, let's do create a new one. So now let's do that part. Okay, so we change the password. We put the password one two three four there, and uh, now we can bring this up. Uh, one thing you need to know is the port is eighty eighty. Now we change it to eighty eighty. That's our application port. We can do Docker compose up. So I pull the image and then I'm extracting it. After all those extract extracting down, I can launch it. It's creating a root on the score DB on the score one. This is uh, our database server and then I can create in our application server. Application Docker. Okay, seems it's running. Now we can change the port back from 6080 to 8080. Since we are running our application on port 8080, now we change and preview. Right away, we are getting into the next cloud. Um, yeah, now we can create in a password for your admin. And I checked the uh, install recommended apps. So that's gonna take a little bit of time to install all plugins for Nextcloud. We'll wait until it's done. At the same time, you can check the previous link won't work here. You can see there's a uh, error message to say couldn't connect to the server on port 6080 since we changed the port from 6080 to 8080. Now it's installing the apps. Again, um, for this cloud share VM, uh, GCP provide to us, it is a 16 gig RAM and four virtual CPU and more than one gig internet connection. There's a five gig home drive for you to store your files between your sessions, but it will not save once you ended your cloud share session. It will be automatically deleted everything in that VM. So you will see this error message after you finish installing because they are redirecting the URL to 127.0.0.1. But don't worry about it. Just go back to your preview on port 8080 menu. Re reopen it. Then you should be able to get into the dashboard because the session, next cloud session is still kept there. So let's uh, welcome screen. So we are in, we, uh, we, get, we can take a look at um, settings. Um, I would like to show you, let's take a look um, overview. There's uh, some warning message which you can you need to fix it after you install next cloud basic settings sharing settings security settings and uh, one thing i want to show you is the system settings so here you can see it's about 16 gig RAM memory and we only use the 1.2 gigabyte. 
and the load is less than one percent it's a four core CPU here and you can see we are using MySQL database PHP version etc etc so um, that everything I want to show you today in this video uh, basically we are using GCP Google Cloud Platform's CloudShare to launch the Docker for our own testing purpose it's a temporary Docker usage um, it will be the data will be wiped out after the session ended in 20 minutes hope you enjoyed it give me a thumb up if you like it subscribe my channel thank you for watching Thank you.